Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's time for my bi-monthly haul. That means I do one every other month, simply because I'm trying to cut down the amount of books and supplies I buy. Now I've got a few books, very few supplies, which is great. I don't really need supplies, so I'm kind of replacing stuff that I need to, as and when I do, um, mostly. However, Firstly, I got another set of the Calm Over Chaos pens because I really like them. I've, this is my third set. I've got two sets. I've got a few pens that have run out. So when I open this set and I run out and it gets low, I order another one. But at the moment, I've got plenty of those. I really do like these. I do recommend them. They're not cheap. I think it's like 12 13 99 for the 12 pens. But they are so glittery, it's unreal. They are beautiful. Then I bought three sets of these Crulando gel pens. These were from Lidl's and they were like $3.99 for 30 pens. So I got three packs. Uh, one set's downstairs, that's why there's only two here because I'm using the first set. Again, what happens is I use them and then when a couple of them run out, I take them out of the pack, put them into my drawers and forget about them and they'll just sit there forever until I think, oh, I've got loads of gel pens in there, see what I've got. And then I start another pack because that's me. I buy gel pens. I love them. But that is literally all the supplies I got over the course of two months, I think. Apart from some pens, which you saw, I think. I can't remember. It's been so long. I need to start listing the supplies as well. I make a list of which books I've got. And talking of, let's go through them one at a time. So I got Relax With Art. I am working on a page in this. Um, this is issue 122. I'm working on a unicorn page. It's the usual mix of pictures and patterns. So, picture, that's the cover. Is that the cover? Yeah, that's the cover. So, you've got the pictures. I'm trying not to show you my whip because I will show you that obviously at the end of September. I'm waiting for the pens to come so I can finish it off. Um, um, I'm using the Pentel dual hybrids in it and I want to uh, finish it and then they ran out of the colour so yeah usual mixture of pictures and patterns. I got the new Ava Brown one which is called Pocketville and um, as I am a member of the launch team I get a copy for free in PDF but it doesn't come with a cover and this is really cute so it's like little Polly Pockets type things and they're very cute so I've got to colour in one of these uh, and do my review I haven't done it yet because uh, it came last week when I was on holiday but it's really sweet so I'm going to do one of those very very soon might do that one I think that's cute so I got that put that uh, somewhere where I don't lose all the pages I did get one, a couple of colouring books while I was on holiday because I left the books I meant to take at home because I'm a bit of an idiot like that. <laughs> so I picked up this book called Let's Colour Chibi. It says it's new but there's about 38 issues of this and I still didn't colour in it. I went into a bit of a slump at the end of the month. I just couldn't be bothered. I love, that was the one I was going to do because I think it's amazing. Um, I'll do a full, full flip through of this as well and put it up on the channel at some point. So I'll put that into a separate pile for a flip through. Then I got the Relax With Art Holiday Special Gothic Halloween at the same time. Again, usual mixture of ugh, pictures and patterns. But this time they're all Halloween ready. It's mostly pictures. There. There's a steampunk person. I like that one. I like them all actually. They're all kind of good. So there's that one. And that one's got to go over there. I got uh, this one for £4 in the works when we were in Caerphilly and it's just again it's kind of zen doodly but there's also very simple ones it's probably AI I don't know nice little unicorn there although usually with unicorns they give them two horns I've noticed AI does that's very detailed that's never getting done but that one will it's a really cute little dragon and like I'm gonna say it's the top of a unicorn's head because it's got ears and a horn and the mirror and so on. So some of them are really simple and some of them are a bit more complicated. I have the Colour in Heaven Fashionable Fairies. I'm going to be honest, this is the first Colour in Heaven I bought all year and I bought this in August. Although this is the time of year where they get the gothic and the Halloweeny stuff out so 
there'll be a few more added to the collection. I haven't done a flip through this, I'll probably do one of this as well. These are really cute. Very nice. I think these are Ava Brown fairies, if I remember rightly. So there's that one. This one I've done a flip through of. This is Quick and Easy Halloween Colour Book by Adriana Lay for Colouring United. I haven't coloured in it yet, but it is September, so it's I like that. That little spider is so cute. It reminds me of the spider from Oh, that the Tig and Me thing TV program. So they're very simple, cute pictures to do. I'm looking forward to doing something in that one. I have Deborah Muller's Best of Christmas colouring book, which is 250 pages. I don't know why I've got tons of Christmas and I never colour in them. I have done one in it. I wanted to do one for some reason in August, not in July. I did start doing one and I never finished it. It happens every year. But, you know, this is Deborah Muller's Best of Christmas, so there's all sorts of different Deborah Muller's. If you want to flip through this, I will do one. I'm sure there's plenty of them on there. This came out last uh, November, I want to say. But yeah, it's a really nice book. Really heavy. I love it. And then you saw this one, because I did do a flip through this. This is the Big Book of Mermaids by Deborah Muller. And I think I showed you a picture of it last month, because I did one. I just love her mermaids and I just fancied it. It was new, it's big, it's chunky, that's the one we did. I did. They're just so cute, so I'm sure I'll be doing more of them. I've had to rearrange my bookshelf so I can actually get this on there. Now that's over there because it's got to go back in. Right. Um I bought Spooky Cute. You've seen this one because I showed you the picture I did in it last month. I've only done one picture in it. I don't know why all the brands are bringing out books this size now instead of the A4 size books. They're cute, don't get me wrong, I like them. They're nice and quick. Uh, that's the one we did, I did. And yeah, I like that book. Uh, only a couple to go. I done got this one. This was the Be Kind to Your Mind from Come Over Chaos, Millie Bicknell. I did. Uh, a flip through this so you've seen this I've done a picture of this and you will be seeing that in my completed pages so yeah so yeah nice book not cheap but the paper quality is absolutely exceptional it's really really good so I do recommend those that's gonna go this side to go away um, did a flip through of this one which is The Beauty of Horror Tarot by Alan Robert. I love Alan Robert. This is beautiful. It's an amazing book. Haven't done anything in it yet but I'm sure I will soon. And final book is another Relax With Art one but this is issue 121. It's got a free Taylor colouring and puzzle book in it. So this is a very summery one. I just haven't coloured in yet. So there's, a, there's the Taylor Swift bit. I'll probably colour the pictures of her, but that'll be about it really. Usual patterns and pictures. So yeah, those are all the books that I got in July and August. The next haul will be in October. Expect there to be a few more Halloween books in there because um, Colour in Heaven will be putting theirs out soon and I always get it and it's bigger, it's a bumper book this so it's got like four or eight extra pages I'm not sure which, they did say but that's it for this month on for, oh, I can't even speak, for the colouring uh, haul uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you again very very soon in the next one bye everybody